Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Hardin, the art teacher over at Gunner High School, and I'm here to read a book to you today. And we are going to make something super fun. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. This book is called If Picasso Painted a Snowman. It is by Amy and Greg Newbold. And in this book, you're going to see artists that have lots of different styles. So you're going to see different paintings that have totally different looks to them and that is um, really awesome to see so let's read it if someone asked you to paint a snowman you would probably start with three white circles stacked one upon another then you might you would add black dots for eyes an orange triangle for a nose and a black dotted smile but if pablo picasso painted a snowman it would look like this not all artists paint the same. Can you find J.M.W. Turner snowman lost in the blizzard? You see it right there? Blam! Roy Lichtenstein's snow hero saves the day. His snowman looks like it's straight out of a comic book. Georgia O'Keeffe's snowman wouldn't bloom long in the desert. A patchwork quilt, soft and cozy, wraps up Gustav Klimt's snow family. I love all the patterns in this one. How many snowmen hide in Cla Claude Monet's haystacks? How many snowmen do you see in this one? One, two, three, four, five. I see five. A dust-colored snowman watches Pablita Velarde's ornamental birds. That's a crazy looking snowman. I have never seen one like that before. Cool. Jackson Pollock painted his snowman. Splish, splash, splat. Jackson Pollock was famous for splattering paint on a canvas. So it looks like a splattered snowman. Salvador Dali's winter. In his winter fantasy, snowmen drip like melty cheese. This one's really creative. You may have seen this painting with melted clocks before. Rickety Rack, a stick snowman, drives Paul Clay's wire car. Mark Chagall's snowman cavort in a bright circus ring. I love the colors in these. Dot upon dot, here's a snowman by George Surratt. That is a lot of dots. That must have taken a long time. Piet Mondrian's snowman is square. Do you see a carrot anywhere in there? Oh, looks like a carrot nose. Circles surround circles as Sonia Delaunay's snowman spins. Hers looks super creative. The rhythms of the street make Jacob Lawrence's snowman smile. In Vincent Van Gogh's snowman, it swirls and curls in the wavy hills. Grant Wood's famous snowman gothic will never melt away. Did you guys like that book? I love this because it shows show, so many different artists and their styles. Now they didn't actually paint snowmen, but it was fun to see what it might have looked like if they did. So you guys are gonna have a chance to make your very own snowman today. Um, here are the paintings that inspired me the most. You might think back at the ones that you liked the best, but they can give you ideas. Artists give each other ideas all the time. We inspire each other. I really liked in this one how the shadows appear blue and purple. So Monet and Seurat both did that. They have nice cool colors in their shadows. So I think I'm going to use that on my snowman later on. Um, I really liked the melting ones. I thought that was cool. I love the patterns here. And of course, I love Picasso. So let me show you what I was working on. Um, now you can make your snowman any way you want to. Um, you can be inspired by anybody you want. Mine, I decided to give a melting face. And I made it a couple of friends over here too. Because you wouldn't expect a snowman to be made out of triangles and squares. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is add a horizon line where the sky meets the ground. 